Alright, so I've recently installed a new theme called the Ezune HD theme for the iPod Touch and iPhone. It is a very great theme, and there have been some problems with, you know, making icons. How do you do it, and how do you get the words? Well, it's very simple, and to get started, you need a couple things. You need iPhone folders or WinSCP3, some kind of SSH in for your device. You next need to install the font onto your computer, which is really easy. Just open up the folder, go to theme, go to icon template, font, you'll have it there. And you just click it, find the font, then you go down to run if you're on XP to search fonts. If you're on XP, you can just, you know, search it, have you'll, you'll get fonts, then you drag it in there and install it. That is it as far as that font goes. You can actually delete that. You next open up the icon template in your Photoshop. We'll let that load up. Okay, now you select layer one, turn off background, layer two, and playlist, and you just click music, which that's what we'll have, and then you right click, edit type, and then you type whatever you want. Like for me, I'm gonna do zombieville, so I'm just typing zombies. And if it goes too long, then you're out here and it's not you. So you need to stay in this little black square and do not move anything or change anything whatsoever because it has to be there turn off layer one and then that's your icon save it as png or you know png zombieville just like it would be on your device you know the way i do is i take photos of my screen and we'll, we will replace that and click ok and now Oops. Now we open up iPhone folders or whatever you're currently using. My iPod Touch, var, stash, themes, easy and HD, icons. I think I already made this one. No, wait. Somebody made something, sort of. I might have made it, I don't know. Anyways. You s I save mine in icon template, you drag it over and you're done. I mean obviously. Drag it over, you know, close this, check if that's in there. Okay, it's in there. Now you have your icon made. You can now just simply close your SSH in and close Photoshop and you're done. Now if you want to add something like music sign, um this here. You want to close it, and you want to add one of those. You can obviously, well, I'm on that layer. I can't do that. Anyways, if you want to change this, the way I would do it would I be to get an icon. That's a different tutorial. You can ask questions, and I'll make one. But for now, I'd make a simple icon, and to change this is the same way. If you want to change that, edit type. And you can change the playlist tracks, albums, and generated, but when genres. But once you save it, just make sure everything's turned off, except zombies or whatever app you did. And if you add the little symbol by the side of it, turn that on. And if you add this, turn that on. But layer one should not be turned on when you save your icon, or it will just it'll be a black square and it'll cover up the background a little bit. So Janzy owned you, showing you how to create some icons for a good theme. It just was finished. So peace out.